Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back and as always, thank you for the support. So I thought I'd come on and have a quick play with the um, new Gemini press plate. So I did order this during um, birthday week, cost me £50. Um, I have got a lot of Spellbinder um, press plates, which I currently use for foiling. Even though I have got a better press machine, um, I put it through my big shot because I haven't got a Spellbinder um, Platinum machine. I've just got the Calibre and I've got the little Lilac Shimmer one. Um, and I don't know, I, d I think you probably would get a better impression with an actual Spellbinder machine. So I, I've always in the past preferred to um, foil them. So I thought when I saw this, I thought, well, you know, I've got a Gemini 2. Um, it was only £50, which I thought was quite good. Um, and you've got a die, you get well, you get a couple of um, press plates with it. So you've got the um, sort of peony sort of style thing, flower with love, hello friend. Um, you can see I've been using it. You've got a little black um, ink pad with the letter press ink. Um, you've got some tape and you had a sample pack of the cotton card. Uh, let me just grab a piece out there. So I have done a lot of the pieces beforehand, so it's purely going to be um, pressing this out and um, I'll colour it in with some pencils, just some basic colouring, just to put a card together and see how we like it. Um, and I'm going to be using my um, sorry, <coughs> my um, stepper card, you know, my easy stepper card, just because I think, you know, it's something I'm not familiar with, although I have had a few practices with it. As you can see, it's getting a little mucky already. Um, I have had a few little practices with it, but it's, uh, I always find if I'm going to try a new um, stamp or something, if I try it on something that I'm really comfortable with making, like my little stepper card, I've only got a small piece to, to sort of fill on it. Um, and... Um, yeah, it, you know, builds my confidence on it, really. Okay, so let's start. So I'm just going to turn that round. Um, this is A2 in size, so I can just find those little marks. And then tape that down. You can buy some double-sided sh double sheets from Sizzix, I think it was. Um which means you could just stick that to the actual plate and then it would stick the paper to that and you'd be able to reuse it a couple of times um, before you had to change it. So I've got my E2 marks at the bottom, so I'm just going to pop that somewhere around about there, I think. I'm going to be cutting it down anyway. Oops. So, right, okay, so now we just need to ink that up. And the technique with um, better press and letter press is to kind of uh, gently rub the ink onto the image and you'll be able to see when you've inked it up because you will have that lovely black line all around the edges. If it looks a little grey then it's worth just going over it again. So just going to go around. And I did have a little play with some Lisa Horson interference inks with this. I literally put it through about three times with three different things. And uh, um, that worked really well, especially the charcoal one. Okay, so we just... We just put a little bit more on those edges. Looks a bit grey rather than black. Okay, so let's just pop that down. And I'm just going to pop that through my G2. So you'll hear that go through. And then if I bring that around, I'll pop it up. Now I think it's going to be very hard to show you this sort of... Let's pop that down and over there out of the way. So I don't think we're going to be needing that again. It's very hard to sort of show you the actual difference, but what it does is it embosses and then the ink goes into that emboss line. So it's a lot finer than a stamp line. It really is quite sharp and kind of book quality rather than 
a stamp quality if you know what I mean so that is going to be my image that I'm going to play with um, I did also from the birthday week buy um, oops, there my gems, um, both of these sets of uh, sentiments the uppercase ticker tape sentiment and the lowercase ticker tape sentiment it's very hard to say without your teeth in um, and I have already just uh, cut some of the ones out that I want to use I was kind of thinking is enjoy your special day but let me get this cut down to size so to go on my stepper card it needs to be um, a five four and three quarters by three and three quarters no yeah three and three quarters by four and three quarters that's right so let's just take equal amounts off each side take a little bit more this is going to be a sort of by eye sort of thing don't know why i decided to do that might swap trimmers in a second if it does it again Because this is cotton paper, it is a little bit fluffier than some other papers that you might be used to. I'm liking going from that way. It's a bit like going from that way. Okay. And then oh, I have four and three quarters, so pretty much okay on that score. Okay, so that is going to be, let me just check that against the matte I've cut for it in some kind of dusky pink. And um, what else do I need? I will need some bits of green. Oops, but I will do that in a second. So to colour it in, like I said, I'm just going to do some basic uh, crayons, blending pencils. And I would do if it wasn't sealed up. Mm. These have been in the drawer for ages. Nice to know that I haven't used them. Come on now, let me in. And obviously we can go with any colour we want. And I'm not going to be trying to blend this out. This is not a colouring video. Uh, it's just uh, having a little play with this bit and press. Um, so I've got this emerald green. I'm just going to stroke it onto these leaves. And for the flowers, I think I'm going to go with this flame red. What does that look like? The others might be a bit too pink. completely change my colour scheme and go with the blue yeah that's what I'm going to do so again with the flowers all I'm going to do is just lay the colour down in just strokes the same way that the, the petals are going I'm just going to go all the way around I'm going to do all of that both the flowers and the leaves and then I'm going to come back so bear with me okay so I'm just coming back just to finish off these so um, once I've put the pencil on I've got some this is a um, low odour thinner and a blending stump and then I'm just going to rub that over and it's just going to blend that in take those pencil strip stripes away and leave me with a, a sort of finished Piece. and I've done that all over it just naturally adds those highlights into for me so that is that colour dim obviously like I say I am not a person to watch for colouring I've said that for since I started my channel I am learning more and I am doing more 
that um, definitely uh, there's a whole world of people out there that do that a lot better than I do okay so we've got that done so I've changed my mind on using the pink and um, I'm going to use a different colour um, so for my layers on my card I'm going to bring in this hunky dory it's black foiled um, matte plastic and just to make this fit in with that colour scheme I've got a Copic sketch pen W4 warm grey and if I turn it away from me just gonna go around those edges because it's a, a cotton paper it will bleed on oops gonna be wearing it for a couple of days now okay so you just get that sort of warm grey coming through uh, so let's bring in my trimmer and I think I wasn't going to go for silver or gold but I have changed my mind so now I am I'm going to use this holographic so I need to cut my layers for my stepper so um, let me bring in so I can show you what I am going for so that's my stepper you've probably seen it a lot of times if you've been watching me so this piece here is one uh, one by six. So I'm going two notches under the one, two notches under the six. Then the side pieces here are one by five. So I'm going to go two notches under the one. And we need two of those. And two notches under the five. So originally this was going to be quite a, a toned down card but now for some reason I've decided to pivot. <laughs> okay and then this piece here should be two notches under the four by two notches under the five. I'm going to keep that little piece because I don't have a lot of little borders in the holographic. Let's just see if that fits on there quite nicely. And it does. Okay. And then for this piece, um, this is just going to be for the sides, the sides and the then the bottom. So I'm going to go three quarters of an inch long ways because I want that music to be the right way. And I will keep this piece because um, there's going to be enough uh, left over for another one. So that will go into my hunky dory bit box. And then I need a piece, two pieces that are going to be three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters. Oh, shame, I'm going to have to cut that twice. Definitely need to cut the blade on here. Uh, yeah, by five. Okay. And then that goes back into that pot so it will be there when I need it again okay so let's bring this all together the other thing I want is some little sparkle gems and I think because I've used that holographic pen, uh, paper I'm going to bring in those okay so this is just a quick little play really uh, we've got better press first card I've made um, and I'm just going to use my usual glue, so clout all purpose in that one, clout tacky in that one. Just going to pop that on. And then this piece here I'm going to use, she says, uh, there we go, I've got a crafter's companion dotty tape in, which I found when I was looking for something else today. So let's put that, I think it needs to go that way around. It's going to go on to there. And then the rest is going to be all my normal glues. So I think the better press is a lot easier for me personally, just because I've got that machine next to me. Um, for me to be um, pressing 
I don't know what it's going to be like with a Spellbinders um, die on, so that would be interesting to see. Maybe I might do that as another little video. Let's see, because like I said, I've got a lot of uh, better press plates now, well, quite a few, because um, not only do I get the Caboodle each month, which I have done for about the last five or six months, um, I also get the Better Press Society one as well. So. Yeah, so there's quite a few now. Be interesting to see how well they go through that machine. And what results we get. Let's bring that down. Let's make it easy for myself. And again, I'm going to use that little tape pen. Obviously, gone a bit wrong there somewhere. It should be four and three quarters. Maybe I see this one's not quite there either. Let's have a look. Where's my little guillotine? Let's go with these. So, there should be four and three quarters. Yeah, I've got five, I think. Make it difficult for myself with all the sticky on, but hey ho. So forgiving, isn't it? Oh, I think some are and some aren't. It's both ways. Just to confuse me. Okay. And then this one. We need some gold or some holographic. And this is just the standard holographic card. So it was from a mirror mat, so I don't think they do the, the specials in the mirror mat. Let's just get that little bit there. Just put a couple more dots on just in case. And then we're going to go this thing. Okay, so that is what our card is looking up, looking like. Now I was thinking of enjoy your special day and there so we will grab some I might be able to do it with this little bits of foam tape this is one millimeter so I'm not going too high some dots there so I'll just get rid of those and I've been making little cards up all day so I've been in here since about 10 o'clock. So uh, having a good old crafty time. But I was looking forward to having a play with this machine. Must get this stamp, the new stamp one platform out for you as well. And have a little play with that maybe. I like the new the new platform, it's definitely better than the old one. A lot sturdier. And then of course you've got that uh, sticky mat in it as well for your stencils. So it'd be interesting to see how they, um, what they produce to go on it. Okay, so we've got enjoy your special day. The pop across the bottom. And then I want some gems. So I've got some nice, I've got a, degree of sizes on here 
So you could go with your dew drops would be nice on here, you know, sort of clear dew drops. I've just got a little bit of glue on there. So I'm just going to put two big ones on this corner. And put one there. Like so. And I think I'm going to come with two smaller ones on here. One and two. Obviously you could ink all around these corners if you wanted to. And then I'm going to go stick that's it thank you now i don't seem to have many of the really tiny ones for some reason let's pop you on there That is going to be my finished little card. Like I say, just a little play, uh, just something to get my confidence up. Um, colouring could do with some work, but like I say, I wasn't really trying. I was just uh, filling in the space uh, and having a little play. But that is, um, it looks all right in real life. I'll take a picture and then you can decide what you think. Uh, just some other things I was playing with before I um, started the video. So this is the plate just in on plain 300 GSM cardstock. You can see, I think you can see, let's see if I bring that up. Yeah, there you go. Look at the emboss on that. So you can use it just like a normal embossing uh, design. This is the, that um, Crafters Companion black ink on 300 GSM cardstock, just that normal one from Paper Cuts that I use. And you can see it's perfect. Uh, you know, even comparing it to that one, I think this is slightly better if I'm honest with you and the card's a bit whiter. And the other thing I did was um, Lisa Horton's um, Interference Ink. This is the Charcoal Gold, which is my favourite. Now, um, when I um, did this one, I did clean it off of a cloth, but I don't think I did it very well. And what's happened is you've got that um, sort of grey around the edges but where there was that bit of black left on the plate it's come gold so I think hopefully you can just catch those flashes of gold particularly like around here and that so it's just gorgeous and I don't think it would do that I mean I'd, I this is the first time I've ever used the ink to be honest it's the first time I've had it out the packet um, but I had heard that it was was good with the spellbinders, but a press, I thought I would try it. Um, and it's not everywhere, so I'm guessing that that's why um, it's not everywhere. Or it could just be that it comes out like that. I'll try it again at some point, maybe with um, some of the spellbinders dies, uh, press plates, and see what happens with them when I put them through. So I will definitely have another play with this. Um, with, and we'll see what the spellbinders plates come out with like on it um, but that's it for today like I say hopefully this is not too long a video um, but it was just a quick little play with that press plate to see how it worked what I needed to do whether it was easier whether it was harder it's definitely a lot easier um, just for me because I've got that machine here um, but that's it so I will be back tomorrow with hunky jewelry um, it's going to be the um, the flower decollage um, kit and I will go through that tomorrow. But until then, enjoy the rest of your evening and happy crafting. Bye.